everybody, it's Bill from MattTracker.com and welcome to another edition of Games Based on My Collection. Now, this can be taken a lot of different ways. Um, I collect a lot of different things and, well, one thing that uh, it might surprise you that mask isn't my favorite thing, even though it dominates my room here. Uh, Batman actually is. And while my collection of Batman items isn't as prevalent as it used to be. Uh, I actually downsized some of it to grow the mask collection, which in hindsight might not make sense, but it, it does to me. Um, Batman's everywhere and I can satisfy, you know, the, the anything with Batman really with Rewatching the animated series, rewatching the movies, uh, looking actually looking forward to the Robert Pattinson version, which I don't know if you are or not, but I am, and um, it it helps that that Batman keeps going. But what doesn't help with Mask is that it doesn't, and you know we have to rely on ourselves. Um, you know we have a great comic out right now that. As a part of a four-part series, if you haven't seen that yet, uh, go to the website, uh, Mask85 right at the top. But it's not about this, it's about Batman, and in particular, video games. And Batman has had his fair share of great games, but also some terrible games. Uh, the Arkham series is great, and it's rumored that there's another one coming out. And Kevin Conroy will reprise his role as Batman, which, if you ever rank Batmans... He's always number one. Doesn't matter who else plays him. It's always Kevin Conroy. Uh, I have some games in my collection here. Uh, my video game collection also downsized a lot. Uh, I kept the games that I wanted more out of what I had and kind of just got rid of the other ones. Also to help build up the mass collection. So uh, a lot of things were sacrificed to build this collection up. And again, it's not as prevalent as um, some of the other ones out there, but... I do, a, I do a pretty good job, I think. Uh, here's a couple that I have. Um, the Adventures of Batman and Robin on second. Uh, Batman a video game on second. Uh, Batman Returns, which was a fun beat-em-up on Super Nintendo. The original Batman game. This is the one that had the purple Batman and was almost impossible to beat. Um, each one of these games I'm going to talk about another time I want to focus on one that I liked to play and was never really good at it um, and that was the Adventures of Batman and Robin on the Super Nintendo now my collection of Batman the animated series goes pretty deep as you can see uh, right there and well I want to play it and just talk through some of it. And just, you know, kind of hang out. Um, so, I have the uh, Super Nintendo ready to go here. I'm going to get a sip of coffee. Because I'm going to need it. My reflexes are not what they used to be. Let's see if I can make the game any easier for me. Uh, easy. Why not? This is always a cool opening here, too. I have the volume turned down, so I don't have to talk over it, but I want to listen to it. It's a good MIDI rendition. What's interesting about this is that The Adventures of Batman and Robin had a different opening, for the most part, than the original Batman the Animated Series opening. So, while it's, um, it's pretty accurate and it's great that they have the rights to do the music, it's a little off. 
Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. I'm used to death, so I'm guessing this is the Joker. Now, if you watch the animated series, you know that Mark Hamill is hands down the best Joker ever. Period. Um, Ledger did a great job. Leto was, yeah, and Jack Nicholson was okay. But the Joker and Mark Hamill, I mean, it's the same thing. Um, and, you know, we have um, Joaquin Phoenix coming out. Apparently he's going to be really good at it, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. But Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill, say what you want about the the last movie they did, which was um, a little odd that they added in uh, the... Barbara Gordon scene like they added 25 minutes into it but they had to in order to stretch out the um, the story of the killing joke because it, it's a short it's a short narrative and without it they probably wouldn't be able to hit the, the I guess the runtime for a movie so but Conroy and Hamill they did a really good job with it right here we're inside the Batmobile Alfred is chatting to us Batman being Batman so what you get to do here is you get to pick items um, to take with you now I don't know why you wouldn't pick everything here but you have the option to not um, so I'm gonna pick everything so as you can see it's in the Bruce Tim style uh, it, it's it still has the, the like the gothic feeling to it and it's not the new animated series. Batman's just standing there thinking. I just I just love the, the, the music, the style. And that was one of the things that drew me to the, to the series. It I mean I, I love Batman, but it it didn't, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't the typical cartoon for a kid. It had a lot of adult themes to it. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of dark stories. But that was what Batman was. And it catered to, it catered to the kids and the adults watching it. Um, let me talk about that more in a little bit. So, in order to play the game, left and right, up and down, up up looks up, down docks, left to right, right? Um, the L button on the Super Nintendo controller blocks, right blocks, Y punches, X changes your weapon. That's apparently night vision. B jumps, and A shoots your weapon. So, if I have the Batarang selected, I can shoot for the Batarang. I don't want to waste those. Uh, let's see. Does the flashlight come out? No, I guess that just kind of activates itself. But there are some instances in the game where you have to grapple in order to get through. And I, I was never any good at killing these guys with the guns in this game. Going back to some of the stories. My, my favorite story from the show, I think hands down was a uh, heart of ice the the mr. freeze storyline and mr. freeze I mean if if you're familiar with the comics he was a little he wasn't as sophisticated I'll say as he is in the cartoon and if you're basing it off of the Adam West Batman the no don't do that the 
the animated series took Mr. Freeze and basically completely changed the character and made him a a person that you can root for as a bad guy. And what that what that essentially did was the narrative moving forward in comics, in uh, future releases, in video games, especially in the Arkham series, that was what they took. They didn't take the canon of Mr. Freeze. They took the new rendition of him and made that canon, which, again, it, you know, aside from him turning into a spider, which is kind of weird... Um, in the new adventures of Batman. Because like his body was so degraded that he basically he was just a head. Uh, think of the uh, the heads from Futurama. Uh, the president's heads. That's that's what he was. So you got some some platform jumping there. Now this game this game doesn't have as like it's not as in depth as some other games might be. Um, and, oh, how do I have this? Ah, there you go. You can shoot straight up. There you go. All right. I apparently suck at this game. Um, I mean, the, the controls are pretty fluent here. Um, this is not very... I, I haven't played it in a long time. Uh, so, bear with me on it. But, for the most part, it, it, it holds up pretty well. I believe this is a boss fight here. Uh, with a giant toy. Yep. Uh, this here, you gotta wait for him to stab the ground, and then climb up and kick him in the head. But he doesn't give you a lot of time to do it. And I'm dead. At least I have full life. I don't know how far we're gonna get in this game. But it's more or less, it's more or less a chance for me as a as a mask site to talk a little bit about Batman because again it's it's one of my it's one of my like big driving forces in my life and um, just wanted to have a chance to chat about it a little bit. The original Batman game, I, I don't know how many of you have played it. But Batman is purple. And I'm probably going to do that game by itself because it's one of the hardest games I've ever played, to be honest. And that was five hits, I think, on that thing. Kill it. On easy mode. So uh, it's one of the harder games I've ever played, the original Batman. And I've never beaten it. If you have, let me know because I heard that the Joker in it is one of the hardest boss battles ever. So, this next board is a pain in the ass. And of course, if you don't know this, Harley was invented for the animated series. So, uh, if you have uh, the comics that came out, uh, I forget, forget what issue it is. But her first appearance is worth a good penny. So if you have them, check your comic collection. And if you need some money, sell it. So this board doesn't make sense because of the, the tracks going back and forth. It's, it becomes a little, a little odd, especially when you catch up to the Joker. And one of the things is that it looks like you can jump onto the Joker's train car. 
but you can't. You just fall through it. Um, and apparently I can punch bombs. Um, I don't remember how to hit, hit him here. Yeah, forgot about this. It gets all... It gives all kind of disorienting there. And that, you know, for the Super Nintendo, that was a big thing. It, it showed the processing power of it. Which, you know, in hindsight isn't a lot. But at the time, it was. Uh, one of the other games really utilized this for the side-scrolling aspect anyway. Uh, was Super Castlevania. There was a, there's a level where you're spinning around inside cylinders and... It's it was really disorienting. So it's a uh, it's not it, it's not hard to get through, but if you're not used to it, all of a sudden it happens. It, it really does throw you off. What's up, buddy? Bowers in here today with me. Sleepy. Yep. And if you want to see, uh, I mean, honestly, you want to see the definitive Kevin Conroy, Mark Hamill sequence together, uh, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, there is a flashback scene in it that shows the death of the Joker. And there's two versions of it. Uh, one, um, one with a gun and one where he's electrocuted but the you you can get the full sense of just how sick the joker is i'm not going to spoil it too much but give it a watch you can probably find it on youtube just that scene um and it's it's worth checking out but the the they're they're back and forth over the years it finally Batman finally snaps. He's back at him. I'm not using any tactics here. I'm just swinging wildly at the bombs, which I can't dodge those, Joker. And this is one of the reasons why I can never get really far in this game. It was because of the fact that when you die, you start back at the beginning, and it's just not, uh, it's not an easy game, even on easy. Try to do it a little, little better here. Let's try anyway. Maybe if I switch my weapon to the batarang, that probably won't help. Now the, um, I don't know if the twin terrors back there. I don't know if that's a, I don't know if it's a reference to anything in the game or the comics. It might just be a generic uh, name for this roller coaster. Sorry, I got quiet. I'm actually trying here. But what are what are some of your favorite episodes in the animated series? I said mine was Heart of Ice, but I also liked, and it was kind of rare for. Um, I don't know any dodgy things. kind of rare for me to like one of the newer episodes but the one where uh, Barbara Gordon dies and uh, 
Jim finds out that it's Batman or Bruce Wayne's Batman and goes on a basically a hunt to get him because of how much he trusted him. Um, it, was, it turned out to be a dream from the Mad Hatter, but uh, the whole sequence of it, like you can see, you can see Jim doing that. He, while he has great faith in Batman, his. Apparently that meant jump. See, and I gotta start back here. I don't think I'm gonna very much farther here. I might have to give up. But going back, uh, Jim, you can see that happening. He, he, while he has great respect for Batman, his love for Barbara outweighs that, and he feels so betrayed that he goes on this manhunt, taking down Nightwing. Um, I think he rests Alfred in it too. It's a it's a pretty gripping episode, and it's worth a watch. Even if you don't like the other episodes, which are crazy if you don't. Um, obviously, I like the original run better than the new adventures, but they're all worth watching, in my mind. Some of them a little weird. Um, my least favorite episode was probably. I think it was called the Terrific Trio. It was a bunch of rich snobs who robbed people because they were bored. Uh, I thought that was a little, a little lame, but I can't argue it. I would too if I was rich. I would rob people too. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. But yeah, let me know how far you got in this game because I can't pass the second level. I guess you can go out to second level, third level? No, third level. Unless this is all one level. I'm not an expert at this game, but I wanted to play it and talk a little Batman with you. <sighs> Let me know how far you got. Let me know your favorite episodes. And let me know what you think of Robert Pattinson being cast as Batman. Until next time, this is Bill from MattTracker.com. And I probably will never pass this stage.